on tap, deep water Doppelbach. Hi, I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Today, we are taking a trip down south and tasting deep water Doppelbach lager from the Thomas Creek Brewery in Greenville, South Carolina. The brewery was founded in 1998 by the father-son team of Bill and Tom Davis, Tom being the brewer. This German-style lager is 7% ABV and 30 IBUs. They use Cascade, Tettninger, and Holler Tower hops, but this style of beer is generally known for its malty flavor. The brewery says to look for creaminess, roasted nut tones, and notes of coffee and toasty chocolate. Chef, yes. is this a creamy beer? I think it's got a, a, a creaminess to it. It, it, it really has a, a decent mouth feel. I think it, you know, it, it, it has some staying power in your mouth when you drink it. And there's, there's definitely some, some layers of flavor that go along with it. So, yeah, I would say it's pretty creamy. Joby, for those playing along at home, I mentioned three types of hops, but should people expect to experience much hops when they're drinking this beer? I don't think so, James. I, I think it's overpowered with uh, the malt. I mean, you can really taste that malt backbone for here. So um, even saying there's three kinds of hops in here, it's, there, you'd be hard pressed to pick them out. Scott, <clears throat> how does this compare to other Doppelbox for you? Uh, well, we were talking about a couple earlier, but one in particular, I anger. Uh, Celebrator. Celebrator, sorry. Uh, I don't know. This one, I, I like it a lot, but it reminds me more of a nut brown ale. Like Tommy Knockers has a nut brown ale, and this reminds me exactly of that. But I'd say this doesn't have the alcohol flavor that uh, Celebrator has. But I'd say between the two of them, I drink this more often than, than Celebrator because this one just seems like a more easy drinking beer for me. Okay. Chef, what other flavors are you getting in this beer? I mean, you definitely get that note, the nuts. Uh, you definitely get uh, kind of a roastiness, like a coffee, uh, and you get a little hint of chocolate to it. Um, I think, I mean, it, again, it's, yeah, you get, that, you get those different layers of flavor uh, through it, so it's pretty tasty. Joby, sweet or dry? For me, James, it's almost both. Uh, in the beginning, it's sweet, and then it finishes dry. Um, so I'd say both. Is that acceptable? Sure. Okay. And we were also talking earlier how the nose on this, for me at least, has that black licorice, you know, pull. What's that? Anise. Yeah. It, you know, it's really got that black anise, anise smell to it. So, okay. you know, I thought that was kind of interesting. <laughs> Scott, what's your rating? What's your big picture on this one? Well, this has a big anise, so I'm going to go with a seven. Seven? Okay. Uh, chef, what's your big picture on this one? I'm going to go with a seven. I think this is a pretty drinkable beer. Uh, you, we, you know, we, we're sitting here. My glass is almost empty. Scott's glass is almost empty. Um, it goes down smooth. You, you could drink a couple of these and be pretty comfortable with it. So, seven. Joby? Yeah, I'm, I'm on board with these guys. Seven. Uh, going off what Chef said, the 7% alcohol, I think, is very well masked in this beer. You don't taste a lot of alcohol um, at all. So very easy drinkable, easy drinking beer. Um, I'd recommend it if I'm ever down in Greenville, South Carolina. Yeah, I think it's really well integrated. I don't even think it's masked. I think the alcohol taste in this is great. I mean, I think the uh, Celebrator has, it tries to mask the alcohol a little bit, but this specifically, I feel like it integrates it really well. And yeah, it's just a very smooth beer. And the more you drink it, I think the easier it is to drink. Not that that's not the same with other beers. But this one happens to be one that I think builds on you. This is a German style beer. If you didn't know it was from South Carolina, I mean, could you imagine this coming from Germany? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I could imagine it in, in just in a mug like we're drinking it right now. I mean, if you're at a beer festival, some sort of German beer festival is sitting around and they brought this and they were sponsoring the beer festival, I would be happy to drink this beer. Yeah, agreed. Okay. Deepwater Doppelbach gets a 7.0 on the BBA scale. That's what we think. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority.